fans and welcome to AWA Field. Tonight we have the Metropolitan Mojo taking on the Cyclones. It's going to be a great one here tonight. We're very excited for this matchup. Got some new faces out here tonight in the AWA. I'm Mark Campanero going to be taking you the rest of the way here tonight. I'm going to have Aaron Schofield with me on, on color. He's a little bit late but he'll be here a little bit later so We'll be seeing Aaron Schofield, team captain of the Aces, with me here tonight. We're going to get right into the weather report here tonight for this beautiful evening here on Wednesday. Good evening, Wiffle Ball fans. This is Joe Acor from the AWA Weather Center. And as we see a live view from Edmonds Marina, an absolute banger of an evening expected tonight with clear skies, winds less than 10 miles per hour, and the temperatures in the low 50s. Everybody have a great night. Enjoy Trevor May's debut. And remember, dingers or nothing. And big thank you to Joe Accord there with the weather report. Beautiful skies here on this Wednesday night here in Edmonds, Washington. And we got back-to-back -back wiffle ball nights here. We played last night. We're playing again here tonight. So enjoying having that. We're going to send it down to Robert, who's got Trevor May in his... AWA debut here tonight. An AWA debut from the legendary MLB player. Talk about the difference between a wiffle ball to a baseball and w how you're adjusting to the difference. Uh, long story short, I guess I'm not. So uh, <laughs> baseballs are heavier and uh, you can throw them as hard as you want. And wiffle balls are lighter and you can't throw them as hard as you want. So pitching is hard and I got to learn how to do it again. But I was 12 one day or in the past and I did play a lot of wiffle ball. So I'm uh, hoping I'll, I'll, I'll come back, but uh, I also just wanted to say thank you for using the word legendary there in the <laughs> intro. That was really nice of you. I, I think it's well deserved. Um, what are your particular expectations for this season? What marks do you want to see you hit this season? Uh, you know, I just want to lead the league in all the categories. That's that's I think that's a pretty good goal. I'm a, I'm a I'm a high goal setting guy, but uh, I'm going to start with making contact first and going from there. I don't think I've hit a ball hard yet. Uh, I've made one cameo appearance and it did not go well that day. So let's see if I can. Uh... Yeah, we're going to use today as a litmus test to see where I'm at. All right. Awesome. And back up to the booth, guys. Good luck out there, man. Thanks, man. And you just heard from the legendary Trevor May. We're very excited to have Trevor in the league this year was a relief pitcher with the Oakland A's just a year ago, and now he has joined AWA Wiffle Ball, so we're incredibly excited to have Trevor Met here making his de debut for the Metropolitan Mojo here tonight. We're going to get into starting lineups for the Mojo Cyclones matchup here tonight, and you'll see them on your screen here very shortly. Dominic DeMero, University of Hawaii, go Bows. Trevor May, Kelso High School. Austin Whitehouse, Sherwood Elementary. Alex Hatch, University of Hawaii at Manoa. Houston Schmutz, St. Mary Magdalene Parish. That's your Metropolitan Mojo lineup. And just to give you the official lineup here tonight, not everybody is here for the Mojo. 
Uh, Dominic DeMiro will lead it off. He'll be pitching on the mound. Houston Schmutz will hit second at second base, and Trevor May will round out the squad, hitting third at first base. So that's your mojo lineup here tonight. Let's get right into the Central Cyclones lineup. Evan Clarkson, Duke University. Jackson Carr, I'm him. Zane Phillips, Mount Lake Terrace High School. Alex Ballard, Kings Elementary. Jeremy Langstead, Sherwood. Salou Fati, West Appalachian State, Junior Community College. Those are all of your Central Cyclones players, but tonight we just have four players for the Central Cyclones. The lineup for the Cyclones is Jeremy Langstead leading it off at first base. Alex Ballard will be pitching here tonight, hitting second. Zane Phillips will be at second base, hitting third. And Jackson Carr will round out the squad, hitting fourth at third base. Evan Cluxton not here tonight. He was a late series scratch before coming to the ballpark here tonight. We were just informed by Evan five minutes before the game started tonight that he would not be here. So just recently, breaking news, Evan Clugston, Cy Young Award winner, will not be here tonight for this Cyclone squad. So they're going to have to call on Alex Ballard and Zane Phillips to do the pitching here tonight for the squad. We're going to get game number one started here very shortly between the Central Cyclones and the Metropolitan Mojo. We will be back with everybody in a moment. Holy Scholarship Edition. Grand Theft Auto. Portal 2. PGA Tour. Zelda. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Uh, M Dub 2. Yeah. Catch Me on Guitar Hero. Probably Destiny 1. FIFA. And we'll be the show. COD. Call of Duty. Favorite video game. Apex Legends. It'll be the show. 2K. Dark Souls. Uh, Fortnite. 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 <laughs> God. Arma. Probably Call of Duty. God. Wow. RuneScape. That's easy. Sorry. Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that video game segment. That is great. I think the one that stuck out to me the most was Jeremy with the with the RuneScape. RuneScape for his favorite video game. That's interesting. All right, all right. Well, we're about to get game number one here underway between the Central Cyclones and the Metropolitan Mojo. Uh, you'll see on your screen right now Trevor May getting some practice cuts in. And we're very, very much looking forward to Trevor May hitting here tonight. Did not get to do much of that in the MLB but he will get to do a whole lot of that here in AWA with ball <laughs> so we will we will see how he fares here this evening just making sure that we have everything all set up and ready to go on the technical side of things we're going to start very shortly here so we'll be back with everybody here in a moment
And game one is underway. First pitch to Dominic DeMiro is outside for a ball, and he goes around there for strike one. So a ball and a strike here to DeMiro. One and one here to DeMuro goes around there for strike two. So a ball and two strikes to DeMuro. Nobody on. Nobody out here in the top of the first. DeMuro, the MVP last season. I'll be looking for him to have another MVP caliber year this year, trying to become a two time MVP. Absolutely possible with DeMuro, an elite pitcher as well as one of the the game's elite hitters. Looking at a two and two count here as that is low and in the dirt for ball three. So a full count now to DeMiro. And that's high for ball four. So the mojo get a runner on first. Lead it off here in the top of the first. Alex Ballard pitching tonight here for the Cyclones. Ballard did not have many opportunities last season pitching. Again, Ballard a rookie last year in the league. And when you have Evan Clugston and Zane Phillips on the squad, hasn't really been a need for Alex Ballard, but looks like Zane Phillips is electing to throw potentially games two and three here tonight, and Ballard is going to handle the game one duties. Now we're looking at Houston Schmutz up to the plate. Looks at ball three, so 3-0 three oh here to Schmutz. And that's high for ball four, so a four-pitch walk there to Schmutz. And just like that, the mojo have back-to-back -back walks. Runners on first and second, and here he is. Trevor May in his first ever AWA at bat, facing Alex Ballard. First pitch is just high above the zone. Ball one. And that just missed. It's 1-0 here to Trevor May. Looking to get this party going. Trevor May's got the GoPro on here tonight as well. So you can see his point of view is that's way inside for ball three. So three balls, no strikes now here to May. Way outside for ball four. So Trevor May works a walk in his first ever AWA at bat. And you could say that's the highest on base percentage we've ever seen here in the league. Bases are juiced for the 2023 MVP, Dominic DeMiro, coming up to the plate. And Ballard's going to have to be careful here against DeMiro. Never an easy hitter to throw to as he looks at ball one. In the early going here tonight, Alex Ballard, it's, it's, been, it's been tough for him trying to find the zone. That's fouled off down the third base side for a strike. Ball and a strike here to DeMiro. And that is something that we generally see here from newer pitchers in the league. Tougher to find the zone and have good command. The wiffle ball is just has a lot of a lot of curve to it. Can be hard to locate pitches. That's a ball right there, two and one. That is ripped foul down the third base side there. Two and two, the count now to DeMiro. Bases are still loaded. That is ripped high and deep out to right center, and that gets over the fence for a grand slam. Dominic DeMiro. Goes yard for his first hit of the season. It's a grand slam, and just like that, the Mojo come out to a 4-0 lead here in the top of the first. Got to be careful when you're throwing to Dominic DeMiro. Anything close, and he will make you pay, and that is exactly what we just saw right there on the grand slam. 
pitches in there here to Houston Schmutz. One and one count. And that is inside for ball two. That's outside for ball three. So three and one here to Schmutz. Ball four there to Schmutz, and he will walk for the second straight time this inning. So a runner on first for the Mojo, and Trevor May stepping in for his second at bat, walked in his first plate appearance of the ball game. Big swing and a miss on the high cheese there. Strike one. And that's inside for ball one. Might be a little bit of an adjustment here for Trevor May. He has hit at the MLB level before, but, you know, wiffle ball is a lot different. Ground ball right back to Ballard on the mound. He throws over to first and gets the out on May, who is still searching for that first hit of his career. One away. Schmutz moves on over to second, and now up to the plate is the fearful Dominic DeMiro. Already a grand slam in the inning. Looks at ball one. That's inside for ball two. Three and O is the count to Demiro. Runner on second. One out in the inning. For those of you who are unaware of the rules here in the AWA, in innings one and two, you can score a maximum of six runs unless those runs score at the end via the home run. So the Mojo only have two more here to score in the inning before they hit the mercy limit. Runners on first and second for Schmutz as he looks at ball one. And Houston Schmutz, he bounced around the league a little bit last year in his rookie campaign. He's finally found his home here with the Mojo. Happy to be a part of the squad. Always feels nice in your first game with the squad to have a nice 4 nothing lead. And this Cyclones team is by no means a slouch of a team. They were in the World Series just a season ago. Lost to the Nighthawks. And the good thing about this Cyclones team is they return all of their players from a year ago, their World Series campaign. But without Evan Clugston, the Cy Young from last year, it's going to be a difficult going them, I believe, here for them tonight. And we've seen that so far already. Ballard having walked many batters here tonight and the big blow coming with Dominic DeMiro on the Grand Slam not too long ago. Ball one, Trevor May. And that's inside for ball two. And we're still hunting that Trevor May first hit. Grind, and that's that's in play over to Jackson Carr at third. He flips on over to second, and they get the force out on Houston Smuts. So that's going to end the inning. But the Mojo, they score four runs thanks to a Dominic DeMiro grand slam. The Mojo lead it four to nothing as we go to the bottom of the first.
Jeremy Langstead leading it off here in the bottom of the first for the Central Cyclones. Popped up into the air, Schmutz heading back and he's under it to make the grab for out number one. So one pitch and one out. Bottom of the first. Alex Ballard stepping up to the plate. And we have Aaron Schofield with us here on Color. Aaron, stoked to have you here tonight. Good to be here, Mark. Beautiful day for some wiffle ball. Absolutely. Ground ball over to Trevor May at first. He bobbles it, flips on over to DeMiro at first, and the out on the and the call on the field is out. So Ballard out at first. We'll take a look here on the replay just to confirm. Bobbled a little bit, but it looks like he got him. And yes, he is going to be called out. The replay gets him. He is out. So two away Come on, in the bottom of the first. Hey, congrats to Trevor May. That's his first play that he's made in the league. There we go. That is ripped foul down the third base side. Zane Phillips on one. Pitch from DeMiro, and that is fouled off. No balls and two strikes down here to Zane Phillips. Dominic's throwing a lot more floaters in there that, I, that I've remembered. Usually, you know, going right after guys, but he's kind of floating it in there today. Yeah. Always yeah. doing his funky stuff. That's popped up over to Trevor May. Makes nice the Trevor. grab for out number three. So an effective inning for Dominic DeMiro in the mojo. No runs score here in the bottom of the first. The mojo still lead it four to nothing as we go to the top of the second. Dominic DeMiro leads it off here in the top of the second inning for the Mojo. Looks at ball one. And that hits him for ball two. So 2-0 two oh to DeMiro. And yeah, command has been the problem here for Alex Ballard so far tonight. Fouled back. And going forward here, he's going to try to limit those walks. Try not to give this Mojo team any more chances to score any runs. Cyclones already in a 4-0 deficit. 2-1 is the count. That's outside for ball three. So three and one and the the balls continue. And trust me, Aaron, you know, I know I know how it feels out there. I know how it feels out there doing that. Wow. Yeah. I uh can't say I'm the best pitcher in the league. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe me, the best at walking, guys. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, me, me and you both. Me and you both. <laughs> Full count. Full count. Full count here to DeMiro. Pitch, pitch from Ballard. And that hits DeMiro on the leg for ball four. Mojo with a runner on first now for Schmutz. And the Mojo only with three men here tonight, but they're used to that. That's something that they did a lot last season, only had three guys throughout majority of the year. And the Mojo, they still performed pretty well last season. And it's always three different guys that show up. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> Dominic DeMiro tends to be the consistent player that shows up, but you're right, it, it does tend to be a various number of players and various number of guys coming in every night for this Mojo squad. You never know who you're going to have show up for them. And that might be the same case for uh, the Aces next week. So <laughs> I'm not sure who's going to be there, who's not yet. <laughs> we'll have enough players, though. Yeah, just an update for all you fans out there. Uh, the Pilots-Aces game, which was originally scheduled for next Monday, the 22nd, has been moved 
to Tuesday the 23rd. So we're going to have another week next week of back-to-back -back wiffle ball on Tuesday and Wednesday next week. So make sure you stay tuned. And throughout the season, we may have schedule changes potentially throughout the year. Uh, we just want to make sure that we have the most competitive lineups every single night so that we can give you all the best games. And so we may have schedule changes throughout the year. So just make sure that you're staying up to date with our socials because we'll be keeping you updated on there, letting you know everything that's going on. Ball four there to Schmutz, and the walks continue here in game number one. And you can't you can't knock Alex Ballard too bad here. I mean, too badly here. He just he hasn't had a whole lot of experience pitching within the league. And Aaron, as both you and I know, even when you do have some experience, it can be difficult. So yeah. well, it's hard to get guys to swing at it if you're not hitting the zone regularly. It's hard to get guys to want to swing. Two and zero here to Trevor May. Fouls that There's one back, and you know I gotta admit, Trevor, he's he's actually been doing pretty good here tonight. He's put the ball in play a couple of times, and yes, he's he's he hasn't had his first hit just yet, but let's keep reminding him until it, he does. It's no, it's it's a positive <laughs> thing putting the ball in play here. It's been looking good so far. Two and one is a count. Hits the zone. Good pitch that, there from Ballard. That was a good one to hit. <laughs> Love that hat, by the way, Aaron. Diamondbacks. Yeah, got this hat from uh, Chase Stadium in Arizona. Did you? I, I like to collect uh, all the hats from the stadiums that I go to. I love that. Ground ball right back to Alex Ballard on the mound. He throws over to first, and it's in time to get Trevor May for out number one. So one away here. Dominic DeMiro stepping up to the plate. How, nonetheless, it's a productive out. Moves the runners on over to second and third. So DeMiro is going to have a couple of more RBI opportunities here. And that's fouled back for strike one. Oh one. Oh one here to Demiro. Runners on second and third, and that is just high for ball one. Now I love that you got that uh, that Diamondbacks had at Chase Field. I actually was just there not too long ago for the World Series. Oh yeah. I was. I, I also got a hat. I I love the Diamondbacks. I did. The too. Diamondbacks. Uh, They're a fun the team. Logo to watch, and the logo and their balls. colors. Yep, yeah. Those young teams. Yeah. Exciting team. They're actually coming to Seattle here in a few weeks. I'll play be the there. Mariners. I'll be there. It's going to be exciting. I should be there a couple of games. It would be nice to get Corbin Carroll back here, too. Yes. Se you know, yes. Seattle guy. I'd love to have him on the Mariners. <laughs> Demiro walks there. So bases are now loaded for Houston Schmutz. Bases loaded, one out in the inning. Mojo with a 4 nothing lead. Schmutz stepping in. That is ripped out into foul territory. Jackson Carr was coming on but just couldn't get there in time. So that gets down and Schmutz with a new life. Swing and a miss on the outside pitch from Schmutz, 0 oh and 2. That's the one in the dirt. Schmutz looking for that first hit of 2024. A couple of walks and a strikeout here tonight. Outside, evens the count at 2 and 2. Round ball over to Jackson Carr at third. He steps on third and gets the out. 
on Demiro. Trevor May comes in to score, slips a little bit there on the concrete. I know it can be difficult coming in to score sometimes. Trevor May sporting some very nice cleats here tonight. Gets a little slippery on the concrete. That's down low for ball one. Yes. Holds up there, ball two, two and oh. Hits the zone, strike one, two and one. Count out of May. No pitch, too fast on the gun. Ground ball over to Alex Ballard, flips to first, and they get the out for out number two. So two away. They're in the, or sorry, excuse me, out number three. Out number three, no run score for the Mojo here in the top of the second inning. Four nothing. Mojo lead it, we go to the bottom of the second. Jackson Carr up for the Cyclones. Facing Dominic DeMiro here in the bottom of the second. First pitch just misses, and wow, that was looked like a tough pitch to lay off for Carr, but he does it somehow. Fouls that one back. I got to say, I wish I had one of those pitches in this league, but I never get floaters in like that to hit. Yeah. <laughs> certain players get them, certain players don't. That's all we can say about that. Two and one here to Carr. Fouls that one off, and you know you kind of wonder if you're Jackson Carr, so you swing at that pitch, but not the floater that just missed the zone. You do yeah. wonder. There, there it is. I'm not one to judge. As Demiro takes it himself for out number one, so one away the in the bottom gets the of the job second. Done. It does, and, and I, you know, the the guy who's thrown me the most difficult Ephesus in the league has been Jake Oliver. I'm telling you, he has gotten me on that countless of times. We played them last night, and I was expecting one, and I never, never received one from him. But how did that series go last night? It was good. It was good. Yeah, we won. Uh, took two of three. If I could figure out how to pitch, it would have gone a lot better. But you know, you and me both. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. One and zero here to Jeremy Langstead. A big swing and a miss for strike one. Langstead, he's, he doesn't. He's letting the flow go right now. I feel like it, I feel like his hair is going to get in his eyes up here. Ground ball down the third base side. Demiro fields it. His first hit of the game. And just doesn't have a play on Langstead. So Langstead with an infield single. Great job by Jeremy getting on for this Cyclone squad. Anything will help at this point. Cyclone's down four. And it's always a blow whenever you don't have Evan Cluxton, who many say is the best pitcher in the league. Always a blow. Cluxton truly one of the reasons why this Cyclones team was able to make the World Series last year. So they'll definitely be looking forward to getting him back in their next series. 101 here to Ballard. 
Yeah, the type of control that Clugson has is just unreal. I mean, he can hit that zone when he wants to, and then he'll get each chase out of the zone. I think what's so impressive also about Clugston's game is, is you know, here in the league, you, you have to throw all of your pitches either 60 miles per hour or slower. And it's a difficult thing because sometimes you want to throw your pitch as fast as you can, but you can't do that. And to have the amount of movement that Clugston has while also throwing it 60 miles per hour or slower, it's very incredible and it's yeah. pretty impressive. He's really consistent with it. He'll hit that 60 all day long. Absolutely. Three and one here to Ballard. And that is just inside for ball four. So the Cyclones now with runners on first and second, only one out for Zane Phillips. Cyclones looking to do some damage here in the bottom of the second. Down four. Popped up into the air, and that is not what you wanted to see if you're a Cyclones fan. That's out number two. It's two away. Jackson Carr will step back in. I think one of, the, one of my favorite things uh, that's happened in the league this year was I got to the field yesterday for our game, again, Pilots and Forcers, and uh, I see Jake Oliver last night, and he, he hands me that bat that Jackson Carr has in his hands, and he looks at me and he goes, this is the Pilots bat for this season, and I go, wow, you made this for us? And he goes, yeah. And I, I thought it was kind of weird that he was giving it to me before our game against them, but ground ball over to Trevor May, and Demiro steps on first to get the out. So no run score for the Cyclones here in the bottom of the second. The Mojo, they lead it four to nothing as we go to the final inning here in game number one. Demiro up to the plate, started off here in the top of the third. That's popped up into the air. Ballard underneath it and makes the grab for out number one. Whenever you can pop out Dominic Demiro like that, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. That's the first time he's gotten out tonight. Four walks and a grand slam. Can't say that's a bad night at all. No, absolutely not. So one away here in the inning. Houston Schmutz to the plate. And looks at a strike and Schmutz. That's a good pitch right there. Definitely wishes he had that one back. 0-1. Oh, and, and another pitch. Same it was spot. identical. And it's now 0-2. Oh, back-to-back two. Two -back great pitches there from Ballard. Lowing in the dirt for a ball. 1-2. and two. Yeah, if you're, if you're the mojo at this point, you know, 4 nothing lead. It's, it's a pretty nice lead to have in the final inning of the first game of your season. As Schmutz was supposed to be strike three, but it was too fast on the gun, 61 miles per hour. So it's a no pitch. One and two remains the count. And that's outside for a ball. I, I know all about that, throwing 61 and getting no strikeouts and, and then getting no pitch call and giving up grand slams. That's that's what I do. I think when, uh, I think when, when you first join the league or when you're – earlier in your career and you get the speed checks, it can be very frustrating. Yes. You know, it's 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 a big thing to have no pitches and things like that. And it really can alter the game. Definitely. And so you do see pitchers get very frustrated by speed checks from time to time, but it is one of the most enforced rules here in the AWA for a reason. We want to make sure that we provide all of our viewers with great pitching as well as great hitting. So that's why we have that 60 mile per hour speed limit in place. Fouled off there from Schmutz, and the count remains two balls and two strikes. Heck of that bat here, battling up there. Three foul balls in a row. Big swing and a miss on the high riser there from Ballard and Schmutz. 
Strikes out for out number two. So two away now in the top of the third. Trevor May stepping in here. Base is empty. Looks at a ball. So one and oh here to May. Trevor still searching for his first hit. And that, that is popped over the head of Jeremy Langstead, but falls just foul. Falls just foul. A ball and a strike. That one almost came back into fair territory. Almost very well placed there by May. And he was he was not too far away from a home run there either. And that's high for ball two. So two and one. Low and in the dirt, ball three, three balls, one strike. Now to May. That's popped up into foul territory and runs the count full, three and two. Cyclones just trying to get this final out here and go to the plate to try to get these four runs back. Ballard had a shaky first inning but has not given up any runs since the pitch. Swing and a miss and gets Trevor May for out number three. No run score for the Mojo here in the top of the third. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Mojo still lead it four to nothing. Jeremy Lake said up to the plate for the Cyclones bottom of the third Dominic Camaro trying to shut this thing down and give the Mojo their first win of the 2024 season. Ground ball right back to Demiro. He decides to peg Langstead and gets him for out number one. So one away in the bottom of the third. And this is, it almost seems like kind of a little bit of a revenge series here for Dominic Demiro. Demiro formerly was on the Central Cyclones and won a World Series with them a few years ago. So far, having a nice 4 nothing lead with his new team, the Mojo. Alex Ballard to the plate. And as many of you already know, if you've joined us here already this season, we're early into the 2024 season. One of the newest additions is having a field ump consistently on the field every single series. And so we want to give a shout out to Jason Morehouse, our field ump out there. See him, Jason. We are very happy to have him out here making the play or making the calls for us. So thank you, Jason. That is ripped off the tree. A home run for Alex Ballard. A solo shot. And the Cyclones, they get a run back here in the bottom of the third. Alex Ballard, his first home run of the 2024 season. That ball was smashed. They're not going down without a fight. That was crushed. Out to right, a no doubt shot there from Ballard. Four to one, Mojo still lead it. Cyclones now just down three. Zane Phillips steps in. Ground ball right back to Demiro on the mound. Throws over to first and gets the out on Phillips for out number two. Two away, Cyclones are down to their Final out here in game number one. Mojo hunting for that first win of the 2024 season. First pitch here to Carr. 
Low and inside for ball one. And that's low and outside for ball two. So 2-0 oh to Carr. Ground ball over to DeMiro. He fields it, takes it himself in the mojo. They win game number one of the series. Final score, four to one. So the mojo, they take a one nothing lead here in the three game series against the Cyclones. We will get game number two underway here momentarily. Hey, well, you know, young Aaron here right here. Get on, Mark. Oh, no, Mark, don't play people on your mistakes. Oh, yeah, Mark. Get on them. It's just like the game yesterday. Did I snap this over my knee or the tire just get stuck? Yeah. Snap this over my knee. 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 Yeah. Snap this Jack or what? Jack or what? Same wallet, different wallet. All right, and while we're in between games here, we're in between games one and two. We have Robert down on the field who's got Dominic DeMiro, team captain of the Metropolitan Mojo. Send it down to Robert. So, talking about that Grand Slam, good start to the season for you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Just glad to be back out here. What are your expectations for game two and three? Fighting to hit the ball a little bit harder now? Yeah, just uh, keep the same approach, um, have fun, and see ball hit ball. Let's keep it simple. Keeping it simple, I back up to the booth. Thank you. Good stuff. Thank you, Robert. And yeah, I mean, Dominic DeMiro, he says it perfectly. I, I, I preach the exact same thing. See ball, hit ball, that's all you can do as a hitter, realistically. And it seems like the simplest thing to say, but it's so true. You know, as hit, you know, hitting might be one of the most difficult things that you can do in, across any sports, to be completely honest. But if you keep it simple, see ball, hit ball, that's all you really need to have. And Dominic DeMiro, perfect example of that. Going yard, grand slam. It's the difference for the, for the mojo. They win their first game of the 2024 season. Up a game here against the Cyclones, who were in the World Series just last year. It's got to be a good feeling. Definitely, and you know Dom, he uh, he loves to hit. You know, that's it's one of the best hitters in the league right there. And um, you know it, he w without him on that team, it'd be uh, it'd be a different story for the Mojo. Absolutely, absolutely. And and across the way, you can say the same thing about the Cyclones. Without Evan Clugston, I mean this team. It's not that the Cyclones aren't a great team, but without Evan Clugston, they just aren't at that level, that World Series level that they were at just a year ago. And so you can say the same thing for Evan Clugston on the Cyclones, same thing with Dominic DeMiro on the Mojo. Mojo, luckily enough, they have him here tonight, and biggest reason of why they're ahead here, one nothing so far in this series. Yep. Yeah, Evan Cluxton's got to be one of the biggest difference makers as far as pitching goes, and, and hitting too. He, yeah, he, he yeah. Is. Yeah. He's been great. He's been great. And so we are still in between games one and two. We're getting lineups plugged in, and we're about to get underway here shortly. We will be back with everybody momentarily. Uh, me. Other than you. Uh, I'd probably say my brother. Drew Grapple. Barry Carlo. Brock. Brock Playhouse. Uh... Jack Playhouse. Oh, thanks, man. Jake Oliver. <laughs> Alex Harden. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> but Mark Campanero. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Layhouse. DJ Oliver. 
Jason Morehouse. Facts. Great question. Morton Granich. Nice. DJ. Philip Grossenbacher. Easy. DJ Oliver. Gotta go with Jake Oliver. Morgan Granich. Me. Second favorite player. Me. Third, but it can't be you. Thomas Playhouse. Dominic DeMiro will remain on the mound here in game two. Ground ball up the middle by Langstead. May throws on over to DeMiro at first. Not a bad toss. Just a little too low there for DeMiro. So Langstead will reach for the Cyclones. Run off first here for Alex Ballard. Ballard was a starting pitcher in game number one. Ballard hasn't had a whole lot of experience pitching here in the league, as we've mentioned multiple times here tonight. But aside from the first inning, had pitched pretty well, actually. Not too bad. He gave up the grand slam to DeMiro. He was a little shaky to start it off. But he really settled in there after the first and didn't give up any runs for the last couple of innings. He did. He found the zone. He was able to hit it consistently and get uh, the guys swinging on their team. One and two is the count to Ballard. And that hits the zone, strike three. DeMiro sits down Alex Ballard for out number one. One down in the top of the first. Zane Phillips step up to the plate. DeMiro's really effective against those lefties too. I mean, he goes way out, kind of Chris style or Chris uh, Chris Sale, you know, style, yeah. and uh, yeah. you know, just comes across the body. And I can't imagine hitting that lefty on lefty. And he, DeMiro, he's got a unique way of pitching. He he does a very good job of changing speeds, but on top of changing speeds, he also changes his windup. As you'll see, you see right there, he kind of paused, took a little bit of a pause as opposed to his first pitch there you went a little bit faster and so anything that you can do to miss time a hitter is yeah. going to be an advantage for you as a pitcher and Dom Dominic DeMiro is just one of the best at doing that here in the league. Bryce Miller just did that for the Mariners the other day he uh, said he's working on a, a hesitation delivery. Yeah so yeah it's effective. It is it is yeah and I, I think one of the one of the guys who does it in more of a funny way I would say is Nestor Cortez. Yes. Yeah, that, that's did you see a, the, other, that's uh, the one the other day where he did the fake throw? Yeah. <laughs> that was, I've never seen one of those before. DeMiro strikes out Phillips for out number two. So two away. We're in the top of the first. Jackson Carr to the plate. Ripped up the middle to Trevor May, and Trevor May steps on second, gets the force out for out number three. No run score for the Cyclones here in the top of the first. We remain tied 0-0 zero to zero as we go to the bottom of the first. Alex Ballard remaining on the mound here for the Cyclones. DeMiro rips that one past Carr in a deep left center. He's going to chug for second, and he's going to get there. Safe in there with a leadoff double. And just like that, the Mojo have a, has a man in scoring position here for Houston Schmutz. Great job there by DeMiro. And an interesting decision here for the Cyclones. They're going to leave Alex Ballard in there. And the only reason I say that is because you do have Zane Phillips still available. He's got two games of eligibility left here tonight. 
Phillips was the number two for this Cyclone squad all of last season and pitched in the World Series for them as well. And so it's a little strange here. You'd wonder maybe Zane Phillips isn't feeling 100%. Maybe there's something going on with his arm. And he's going to have to pitch tonight with uh, Clugston out. And I actually only saw Zane Phillips last year when we played, uh, when Aces played the Cyclones last year. Uh, it was Zane Phillips and Clugston. So I've never seen Ballard pitch before. It is interesting. He's going two games. And it just makes you wonder a little bit, you know, is Zane Phillips injured or maybe Alex Ballard is just like, hey, you know, I need to get some reps in here early in the season. Yeah, it's with early, Clugston out. Too. Yeah, it's, it's early in the year. I just want to get some chances, some opportunities, and, you know, maybe I can become that potential number two guy for this team. And so who knows? But Zane Phillips was a great pitcher last year for this Cyclone squad. So you would imagine we most likely see him maybe later in this game, potentially even in game number three. Trevor May to the plate, looks at ball number one. We'll see if Trevor can get his first hit in this game here, game number two. I think we're all eagerly awaiting that, and May has had, his, had, a, had some good hits here tonight regardless, and I know he's, he's hit into multiple ground outs. He did have a foul ball over there down the first base side. Just landed foul, would have been his first single in the AWA. He's got a pretty good swing for a pitcher, you know. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Two and one. And that's fouled back, hits the camera, evens the count here at two and two. Okay. I was, uh, I caught up with Trevor May before the game and he was letting me know, he's like, yeah, man, you know, as he looks at strike three, that was disgusting. Oh, it's no pitch, no pitch. I was about to say it looked a little hot to me, but. Hit that inner corner too. The look on Trevor's face right there. <laughs> wow. You know, we caught up with Trevor before the game, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, I've been a I've been a PO pretty much since I was a junior in high school." And so, goes around there, there for out number one as May strikes out. Dominic Demiro will step up to the plate. But yeah, PO since since his junior year in high school. But you know what? You know something that he's done that none of us has done have done in. A lot of people haven't done is he has had a major league at bats, so yes. he has hit in the major leagues before. Yes. I don't know his uh, all-time average in the major leagues hitting was. I don't either. I wish I had it had it up in front of me. I don't think he got very many opportunities. It's but zero. Uh, we just got word from the booth that it is zero. Ball inside, two and zero. Oh. He's not got a hit. Ground ball past Jackson Carr. Schmutz rounding third, heading home. He's going to score. And an RBI single for Dominic DeMiro. The mojo, they strike first here in game number two. They lead it one to nothing. And so Dominic DeMiro, that's RBI number five on the evening for him. Had four RBIs in game number one and now an RBI here in game number two. Schmutz fouls that one back into the booth. Strike one. All right, we are good to go. Had a technical difficulty there. All right, you're good. One on one. One on one. One on one is the count here to Houston Schmutz. Okay. 
Slider is inside for ball two. Two and one now to Schmutz. Mojo pretty much done all the scoring here tonight. Cyclones have only scored one run so far. That one run came back in game number one, a solo shot from Alex Ballard. Three and one. Outside ball four and the bases are now loaded for the Mojo. Trevor May stepping up to the plate and what a time it would be now to have that first hit. You gotta think he uh, he's thinking Grand Slam himself right here. Oh, I will. We'll go crazy if that happens. Ball one is high. Want to know? Bases loaded. Mojo they lead it one nothing here in the bottom of the first inning. Trying to take this series here in this game. Pitch here from Ballard, and that's ripped out to center. Zane Phillips makes the diving catch out there in center, robbing Trevor May of what would have been his first hit in the league. What a play there from Zane Phillips. Unbelievable range. Wow. He had to cover some territory to get to that ball that was all the way out there in the left center, the deepest part of the park and Phillips comes all the way over from second to make the grab. You're going to see that one the highlights for sure. Unbelievable play there amazing. from Phillips. First pitch is fouled back there by DeMiro for strike one. And fouls the second pitch off as well. So no balls, two strikes to DeMiro. That might have been one of the best players we've seen in 2024. I was I was tremendous there from Phillips. Whenever you get a diving play here in the league, it's it's special. It's special, that's for sure. And you know, shorts over there, no sweatpants, just diving yep. in the dirt with shorts on. Two and two. Count is even here too, Demiro. Base is still loaded. And it's now a full count. Got to think, pitching to Dom here, bases loaded. You don't want a repeat of last game. I'd almost rather walk the guy than yeah. hit a grand slam. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, you don't want to leave anything too close. If anything, you want to maybe try to clip the corner thrown to him. Best case scenario, but gets DeMiro to go around on the riser for strike. Three. One run scores for the Mojo here in the bottom of the first. The Mojo lead it one to nothing as we go to the top of the second. Jeremy Lankstead leads it off for the Cyclones here in the top of the second. Looks at strike one. Ground ball right back to DeMiro on the mound, and he'll just wait for Lankstead. They can go back. And Lankstead just starts to run back to the dugout. Out number one. Top of the second, and, yeah, you know, it's, again, as we've mentioned, only one run has been scored by the Cyclones so far here tonight in a combination. As that's ripped out to center and it hits the wall, Ballard was jogging a first like he had a home run, thought he might have had his second of the evening, but that stays in the park. That's a hard hit single right there. That is a hard hit single. So Alex Ballard on with a single and Zane Phillips to the plate. Phillips making that incredible grab out there against Trevor May just moments ago. Fouls that one back.
back, and that would have been the pitch for Zane to have. That's it. That's got me licking my chops up here in the booth. So that is inside, two and one. Yeah, Demiro, he's been pitching very well here tonight. Not very many mistakes so far. He's just had the one to Ballard. You know, in the series, uh, you know, Pacific Pilots and Aces next week, I might be pitching because we might be down a couple pitchers. Mark, really? What do we think? Uh, I'll lob you one. You lob me one. Uh, you know, hey, hey, if if you wanna if you wanna shake on that right now, I'm in for it. Absolutely. Do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. You already have two home runs right now in the league, don't you? Is I it two do. or three? Two should be three. I hit that one a little too hard. Got some top spin on yeah. it. Yeah. You take one of the hardest cuts in the league, though. You know that. Love hacking up there. I don't like walking. Sometimes I wonder if you're gonna like pull your back out or something. <laughs> you swing so hard. I'm like, oh my goodness. I did that other day in in, uh, in my baseball game. Did you actually? Yeah, my back's a little sore. <laughs> <laughs> How's the squad looking this season? Pretty good. That's good. Pretty That's good. good. That's good. Love to hear that. Fun men's league. When are we when are we getting when are we getting Morgan Granich out here? Is he coming back? What's going on? You know, he might not be there on Tuesday. Either. Wow, yep. wow, back to back. See, we, we all we all coach, great. and you know he's got a coach swinging a miss there from Jackson Carr. It's out number two is two away, and top of the second. Yeah, I you know that's that's one thing because because it's it's you Moses Valadez and Morgan Granich. You're all coaches, correct for the correct. for Wave Baseball. Yep. See, I don't see. It's incredible that you guys are able to do that, work full time, and as well as play in this league. I mean, and you stream, by the way. I mean, you you stream, you're a, by the way. You are you're the dra jack of all trades, my there friend. My lord, popped up into the air. Houston Schmutz underneath it makes the grab for out number three. No run score for the Cyclones in the top of the second. Mojo still lead it one to nothing. Go to the bottom of two. That is ripped off the foul pole. Is too low. It was not a home run. It's not a home run. It hit the green. Yeah. So that's a missed by a foot. That's a that single for pole. Schmutz. I sadly don't have the X's and zeros up here, but I'm gonna guess. We'll give him 98. Uh, no, 102 on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so Schmutz singles. Start off here in the bottom of the second. Trevor made to the plate. Set a ball outside. Yeah, that was unfortunate in Trevor's last at-bat, getting robbed 
His first hit in the league by Zane Phillips. I'm excited to see that. That'll be a no pitch that highlight later in the week. Definitely. You'll be seeing that on the TikToks and the reels and everything. That was a heck of a play. Ground ball over to Alex Ballard on the mound. Trevor May smartly just doesn't want to pull any hammies or anything. Can't blame him. Cannot blame him so there. So he will be tagged out for out number one. Schmutz advances on over to second, and so DeMiro is going to be hitting here with a runner in scoring position. It seems like every time DeMiro's been up tonight, he's hitting with somebody in scoring position. Fouls that one back. 0 oh 1. Ground ball back to Alex Ballard on the mound. He bobbles it, flips on over to first, and gets the out on DeMiro for out number two. So two away. Schmutz moves on over to third. And now he'll be hitting to try to hit himself in here. Mojo lead it one nothing in the bottom of the second. If you're just joining us, Mojo won game number one, final score of four to one, and they now lead it one nothing here in game two. Not many hits in this game. In 61, it'll be no pitch. No pitch. Yeah, 61. One one here to Schmutz as he looks at ball outside. One one. Oh, sorry, it was a speed check. My bad. It's it's one and zero. Apologies, everybody. Now it'll be one one. Now it's one one. Still early in the year. It's still early in the year. You know. We're still getting the feet wet. I'm happy I can use that as an excuse whenever I get something wrong right now, though. <laughs> Now, three months from now, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I know. I'll, I'll probably still be using it. Still early, still early, <laughs> still you know. Early Shoot. Early enough. Come Not on, the last give, give me a yet. break. Give me a break. Two and one. Count to Schmutz. And, yeah, I mean, ever since that first inning for Alex Ballard, he, he has really dialed in. He He's has been really hitting dialed that in. Zone. He's been getting a lot of outs, a lot of ground outs. And, uh, you know, this, it's been a pitcher's duel. Wow. Wow, Excellent he hits the there. Pats. That's nasty right there from Ballard. Two and two. Two and two is the count. And yeah, the only the only run that's scored so far here tonight is that RBI double from DeMiro. Or RBI single from DeMiro, excuse me. Swing and a miss, and Houston Schmutz there. strikes out for the final out. Here in the bottom of the second. No run score for the Mojo. Mojo lead it one to nothing as we go to the final inning here in game number two. Alex Ballard up to the plate for the Cyclones. We're here in the final inning of game number two. Mojo trying to shut the door and take the series win. First pitch here to Ballard is in there for strike one. One one is the count. And hits the top part of the zone for strike two. 
Ballard now in an 0 2 hole. Just inside for ball one. One ball, two strikes here to Ballard. Nobody on. Nobody out in the top of the third. Low for ball two. Count even. Two and two. Good A-B here from Alex. Got to get a base runner on. Scoring runs has been the crutch so far here tonight for this Cyclone squad. Just down a run. Alex Ballard is trying to give himself some type of run support here. That's ripped out to deep left center, hits the tree, and it is going to be not going to be a home run. And what? Let's discuss here. Hold on. What are you calling? It's an inside the park for either way. I just made my lap. Did you, did you see how high that hit? Did you say home run? I thought it was a It's not a home run? Did you see how high it hit up on the tree? Jason, you gave me like 100 bucks, man. No. You didn't give me 100. If I got 100 bucks, I would have left. I would have gotten a dollar back. There's a yellow line on the tree. That's supposed that to doesn't have a line. I don't know. Jason did it all the time, and he landed the base here. So I think it's inside the park here. Can you check it, Mark? I landed on all four bases and hit it home anyway. I mean, there's no line there. I don't think I, 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 I honestly don't think it was there. I was it wouldn't have been a ground rule, though, only grounded four no, bases. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been a Inside the park. It's locked. Like, to be honest, the ball is locked. Yeah, inside so. the park. Yeah, and then I, uh, I touched inside all four run. bases and I hit home. So either way, it's a home run. I, there's nothing else you can call. You just said it wasn't a ground rule. Let's it. call New York. Somebody call New York. I think it's locked here. And I, I had a question. You didn't call time. Yeah. No, that's not a thing. Yeah. Yeah. That was the wrong call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Live it. All right. Yeah. Triple. Yeah. I can't. I mean, if you look at the replay and look at where it hit on the tree. I think the way that's it hits the ball. That's just a budget problem. Jack, what? Jack, what? With no line there. No, that was amazing running right there. Now, I'm just going to ask you. We got a mojo on our side, home run. So after after uh, some discussion, that was 100% a home run. Alex Ballard ties this thing up one to one here in the top of the third. So Alex Ballard did exactly what he needed to do there, tying this game up. His second home run in two games, both coming in the third inning, first game and the second game. And the, the greatest part of this is, is that's 100% absolutely going to push us to a bottom of the third coming up. So St. Phillips. Calling it right now with Trevor May walk off. To the plate. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. First hit is a walk off. That'd be wild. Big swing and a miss there from Zane Phillips. And so, and just to explain to everybody, I know that a lot of people were probably wondering why did that take so long to kind of figure that out. Ground ball back to Demiro on the mound. He throws over to first, and it does not go out of play. So that'll, so Zane Phillips will be safe over there on first. Runner on first for the Cyclones as this inning continues. Still no outs, but to explain to everybody exactly what we were discussing, and so as you can see, out to center, 
and to right center there are yellow lines on the trees and so when you hit the trees above those lines they are considered to be home runs we do not have a yellow line out there in left center on the trees out there and so essentially the ground ball over to Trevor May throws on over to second and he is safe Zay Phillips is safe at second so that'll be an infield single for Jackson Carr runners now on first and second but as I was saying, there was there's no yellow line on the tree out there in left center, and so it is essentially up to the umpire to either call it a home run if he believes that the ball was going to go over the fence, or to call it fair in play if he didn't believe it was going to go over the fence. In this specific case, Jason Morehouse thought that the ball was going over the fence, so it was called a home run for Alex Ballard, and so we were just discussing that because there was some confusion on the field about hey, you know, there's no yellow line out there, what's, what's the call? But call on the field was a home run, and we saw it there, so it's now a one-on-one -one ball game. Uh, come on, Aaron. And Jeremy Langstead strikes out there for out number one here in the top right, of the third. One out. That's zero. Runners on first and second. Alex Ballard to the plate. Ballard, solo shot in his last at bat. That is ripped to right, gone. Alex Ballard, three run home run. His second home run of the inning. Fourth, our four RBIs now for Ballard in the inning. Unbelievable. Cyclones up for one here in the top of the third. Unbelievable. Ball was crushed. Man, he's been hot at three home runs in his last, I think, four at bats. Yeah. <laughs> three home runs for Alex Ballard so far in this series. We're still only in game number two. So he is cooking here. And so far, he has had Demiro's number. Well, and you know what? He's getting a bunch of those lob balls from Demiro, and I don't think Demiro's going to do that anymore. I think he's going to have to pitch him uh, like he pitches a lot of the other hitters in the league. Yeah. Yeah, he is, DeMiro is learning pretty quickly. and But to but regardless for Alex Ballard to do that against the 2023 MVP and DeMiro here tonight, he's been so effective up until those three mistakes that he's made to Alex Ballard. Again, lefty on lefty too. And, you know, he's, and he makes pitches like that. So 0-1 here to Carr. Ground ball over to Trevor May at first. May throws on over to second and gets the out on Phillips. It's out number two. Great play there from Trevor May tried to do that a little earlier in the inning. Wasn't quick enough, didn't get the out. But right there, that was textbook as the Mojo are able to get the lead runner. Runner on first here for Jeremy Langstead. Looks at ball one. And that's low for ball two. So 2-0. Two and oh. Now the count to Langstead. Ripped over the head of Schmutz into deep left center. Jackson Carr holds up at second, so that'll be a single for Langstead. As this in inning just continues, and now we have Alex Ballard coming up to the plate with the hot hand. Three home runs here in this series. Ballard has provided all of the offense for the Cyclones here tonight. He looks at strike one. Has a solo home run and a three-run home run in just this inning alone. And there's a ball. Now Ballard's really been doing it all here for the Cyclones tonight. He's been pitching, sure he's been hitting, he's been doing it all. And, there's that, and that is another one. Way out of here. Alex Ballard, another three-run home run. His seventh RBI of the inning, third home run of the inning. And this is just becoming the Alex Ballard game. My goodness, Alex Ballard have a day. Unbelievable. Third home run this inning. Third home run of the inning, fourth home run of the series, and he is just absolutely owning Dominic DeMiro right now, the 2023 MVP. I'll tell you what, I'm giving him the Barry Bonds treatment the rest of the series. Unbelievable. <laughs> Intentionally walking him. 
I mean, we've seen we've seen players have series like this before. We don't see it all that often. And for Alex Ballard to do this here in his first series of the 2024 season, it's got to feel great. He's definitely padding those stats. I just came back from the ultra sense. I found out I'm having a son today. So that's what it is. And we just got breaking news. We'll break it to you between this inning when we come back. But, wow, Alex Ballard have an inning. Seven RBIs. They all belong to Alex Ballard. He has a solo home run and two three-run home runs. The Cyclones, they lead it 7-1 as we go to the bottom of the third. Hey, congratulations, brother. Congratulations. And so Trevor May is going to lead it off. Alex Ballard, of course, on the mound. Seven RBIs, three home runs, four home runs in the three home runs last inning, four home runs in the series. I mean, it just goes on and on and on here for Alex Ballard. And come to find out, we just found out up here in the booth, Alex Ballard is going to be a dad. He just was told today that he is going to be a dad. They're going to have a boy. So congratulations to Alex Ballard. You could call this the the new baby game, I guess you could you say, know, for Alex dad Ballard. Dad's strength is real. So, you know, you see it all the time in the MLB. Players will come back from uh, from leave and, you know, they just hit. They hit better. Ty France, shoot, yeah. he's on a tear. Just, yeah. uh, just had a kid himself. Unbelievable. Huge congratulations to Alex Ballard and probably truly the reason why he's been just going off here tonight. He's just so excited. So huge, huge news there for Ballard. Very happy for him. That'll be a no pitch. No pitch. That was 67 miles an hour. That's that's fast. That's fast. 101. Ballard just trying to shut this game down. Inside for ball two. Yeah, Ballard's got a little extra oomph behind that ball now, too. Yeah, Safety feeling seven. good. Who wouldn't after that inning? <laughs> wow. Two and two count here to Trevor May. Trevor's still searching for his first hit. That's good Does lead from Trevor not right there. go around, and the count is now full. Just high for ball four. So Trevor May does his job. Mojo down six runs here in the bottom of the third. And, you know, that was just an unbelievable inning. They just needed one run to extend the game, and they decided to go for seven. I mean, my Sorry, Alex Ballard decided to go for seven. I mean, it was just kind of a crazy thing for us to watch up in the booth. I mean, we're seeing Alex Ballard just go crazy there in that inning. And then yes. after his third home run, he looks at us, and he's like, hey, actually, you know, I'm having a – Baby boy, That's unreal! So well. That's what he said. Yeah, congratulations to them. Very happy for Alex Ballard, and I believe he's married. So I believe it's his wife or fiance. I don't know, girlfriend. Congratulations to them. Two and zero here to Dominic Demiro. It's the zone for strike. Pitch to Demiro is inside for ball four, so he will walk. Runners on first and second. 
for the mojo. Houston Schmutz stepping in. No outs here, couple guys on to start the inning. Mojo will try to find their mojo. I like that. I like that. You know, in, in all in all the games that I've announced for the mojo so far, I can't believe I, I haven't come up with that one. I like it. Well, I like dad jokes and you know. <laughs> oh, oh, that's ripped high and deep Going out to back. left. It's got a chance. It's off the top of the wall. Trevor May is gonna chug in there at third. No throw by Jackson Carr, so everybody's safe. That'll be a single for Houston Schmutz. And the bases are loaded. The mojo are in business here. Still no outs in the bottom of the third. Trevor coming up here with maybe one of his biggest at-bats yet. We'll see if he can get some runs in here. Be a perfect time for his first hit. Definitely. Definitely the perfect time. Popped up into the air. Ballard runs over and makes the grab just before running into the microphone, or just there saves himself avoiding. before he hits the microphone. Thank you, Alex, for not running into that. One away here in the bottom of the third. Mojo still in business. Dominic DeMiro up to the plate. Gonna try to get some runs back here. First pitch is outside. Ground ball right back to Ballard on the mound. He throws on over to first and gets the out on DeMiro. A run does come in to score, so it's now 7-2 to two Cyclones. Two outs in the inning. Mojo down to their final out. Nicks the t outside part of the zone. Great pitch from Ballard. Just barely. Almost unhittable right there. Yeah, that was wild. And that's inside. Gets Schmutz to go around for strike two. Down to their final out here. Down to their final strike here. Final strike, final out. A couple men on. See we'll if they see can if extend the game. Alex Ballard can secure this win for the Cyclones. It'd be their first win of the 2024 season, and he truly just went nuts in this game. I mean, all seven RBIs, three home runs in one inning. He's had four home runs so far here in the series. I mean, just name it. And this will definitely go it. down as the Alex Ballard game. Oh, absolutely. Holds. Two and two here to Schmutz. That's ripped high up into the air. It's staying in the yard. Jackson Carr underneath it, and he makes the grab for out number three. The Cyclones come back, and they win this one. Final score, 7 to 2. That'll tie the series up, a game apiece here between the Mojo and the Cyclones. We're, gonna, we're about to get game number three started here. The rubber match winner takes the series here in this one. Unbelievable game from Alex Ballard. Unbelievable game from the Cyclones to tie it up. We will be back here shortly for the start of game number three. Damn. Switch sides are making me look really short, dude. <laughs> All right, we're going to send it down to Robert, who's got Alex Ballard down there for the interview. All right, Alex, a uh, little warm up in that first game. Here in the second game, you go off. Where did that come from? Dude, I'm just excited for the new season to start and it has been fun. The weather's good. You know, found out I'm having a boy today, so I'm just pumped up, dude. Gave you some extra motivation, huh? Extra motivation. I got to make him proud. <laughs> Absolutely got to love it. All right, back up to the booth, guys. Love you, Martana. 
So is that is that the key? Is it you know? Do we all just need to go? You know. Yeah, yeah. You know, have have have. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, you know, it works for Alex Ballard. You know, unbelievable game for him. Wow. You put your offspring out there and uh, you hit a bunch of home runs. Yeah. Apparently, congratulations to Alex Ballard. Both having a son as well as that unbelievable game that he just had. Unbelievable stuff. We will be back here shortly for the start of game number three. Winner of game three between the Cyclones and the Mojo would take the series. I'm more like the pants thing. No, no, he did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he might be the best pitcher video yeah. available. I think um, I've had a couple pitches that are easy. Should have been outlawed. They're so good. They are pretty nasty. I like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hockey, uh, uh, baseball. <laughs> Soccer. Golf. Soccer. Baseball. Uh, hockey. Uh, football. LeBron. LeBron, for sure. Michael Jordan. Uh, MJ. 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 Oh, MJ. Kobe. MJ. So yeah, as you as all of you can see right now, Trevor May on the mound, former MLB pitcher. Got a nice windup. I mean, I'm telling you, you know. So, anyways, the very well might be pitching this game number three for the Mojo. Dominic Demiro has used up his eligibility. He's pitched both games here tonight. We're now going into game three, and the Mojo are looking for their best option. And although Trevor May has not thrown a wiffle ball very much in his life. He is an MLB pitcher, or was a former MLB pitcher, so he very well possibly could be going into the game. Let's check out some Trevor May stats up on the screen. <laughs> Trevor May, fourth round, fourth round pick in the 2008 draft. Nine years of MLB service, 450 in a third innings pitch, three, 33 saves, 520 strikeouts, zero career hits. And what that means is he has zero career hits in the league for himself so that is a little sad but hey nonetheless he has faced MLB pitching which not a lot of people can say that they have very true you know and zero career hits in MLB zero career hits in the AWA he's he's looking to find one yeah and I hope he gets yep. that in a game three yep yep well the good news is, is he's gonna get ample opportunities here in the AWA to get some hits so we will hopefully see that soon here from Trevor May and there you see his career stats 36 and 28, a 424 ERA, 520 strikeouts. Pretty good numbers. Pretty good numbers for Trevor Man. Yeah. So again, we are in between games two and three. If you are just joining us, the Mojo won game number one, final score four to one. 
and the Cyclones just won game number two, final score of seven to two, in which we saw Alex Ballard go absolutely insane and hit three home runs in one inning, seven RBIs in one inning, and pretty much just single-handedly won the Cyclones that game number two. So Ballard has four home runs total across the series, and we haven't even played game three. And so we'll be looking for him to potentially maybe add a fifth home run here in the series. Who knows? But what an unbelievable start to the 2024 season for him. So again, we will be getting game three started here shortly. We'll see Dominic DeMiro out there with Trevor Mays giving him some, some pointers out there on the mound. And we'll see what kind of pitches Trevor is going to be throwing. I'm sure uh, probably a lot of fastballs. And maybe Dom's uh, teaching him that curveball. Yeah. It's got to be a surreal moment for DeMiro, though. I mean, he's he's, te he's teaching a formal MLB pitcher how to throw some wiffle pitches. That's got to be a kind of a crazy feeling, I would imagine. Well, and Dom's a pretty good pitcher himself. Oh, so. absolutely. I mean, DeMiro, as, as a lot of you know, he was a Division One pitcher with the University of Hawaii. So DeMiro, by no means, is a slouch by any means. So, But regardless, still pretty cool. Again, we will be back here shortly for game number three. So we're about to get game number three underway, and we are finally going to see Zane Phillips on the mound, Dominic DeMiro to the plate. Couple of balls here to DeMiro, and that is high for ball three, so three and oh. And that hits DeMiro on the back. Ball four. So the mojo with the runner on first, here in the top of the first, and Houston Schmutz stepping in. And we just, if, if I know that a lot of you might not have been able to hear that over on the announcement out here on the field, but what it said was Tom Blayhouse is actually warming up in the bullpen for the Mojo. Tom Blayhouse hasn't played at all here in the series for the Mojo, but nonetheless, he's warming up in the bullpen. Could we possibly maybe see him in the bottom of the first pitching for this Mojo squad with DeMiro having both of his games of eligibility already done? And that might just depend on what the score ends up being this first inning, you know. Um, Zane hasn't been able to find the strike zone yet. That's eight straight balls. And 
defense. So runners on first and second for the Mojo back-to-back -back walks. And Zane Phillips, who was very effective last year in his rookie years, he throws Trevor Bay strike one. That was a, that was a nice pitch there. Then throws him another strike. <laughs> oh, and two after throw after walking the first two batters. Looks like Trevor's getting the worst of it right now. Just barely missing outside. Count evens here at two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he gets Trevor May to go around for strike three. One away in the top of the first. And after walking the first two batters of the game, Zane Phillips comes back and able to strike out Trevor May. Not too bad. Yeah, it's getting it's getting a little cold here tonight. You know, once the sun starts going down, and it's just always so shaded here at yeah. AWA Field. So many trees. As well, and uh, when it gets later like this, it gets colder. Yeah, it's 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 difficult. And we were last week, Chase and I were talking about how earlier in the season it tends to be a lot more difficult for a lot of guys to hit home runs early in the year, just because it's so cold here, mm -hmm. generally in the Pacific Northwest. So the balls aren't flying like they normally do in the months of June, July, and August. Unless your name is Alex Ballard. Yeah, unless your name is Alex Ballard. So. Anyways, he's got that secret sauce. Ground ball over to Ballard at short. He bobbles it, and there's no play. Schmutz going home. The great heads-up base running there from Schmutz. Scores on the bobble from Ballard and the Mojo. They strike first here in game number three. Lead it one to nothing. Talk about Houston Schmutz is now stepping up to the plate with runners on first and second. First pitch here from Phillips. Gets Schmutz to chase for strike one. And that's low for a ball. 101. Zane Phillips again was a rookie in the league last season. And team captain Evan Cluxton didn't know exactly what he was getting out of Phillips, but Phillips, one of the better rookies in the league last year. And an absolute huge addition for this Cyclones team. Phillips emerged as being their number two pitcher behind Evan Clugston, which is why we've been so surprised to not see him pitch earlier here tonight. But on the flip side of things, he's also an incredible hitter. And Evan Clugston and the Cyclones very happy to have Zane Phillips. And we're only going to see good things coming from him this from him this year, being his sophomore season in the league. And you have to think maybe uh, Alex talked to the boys and said, you know, found out I'm having a kid today and I uh, think I'm just going to be on one today and I'm going to be <laughs> yeah, on strikes. Oh, and that gets past Alex Ballard. Trevor May rounding third, heading home, and he will get there. Demiro is going to come in to score on the overthrow from Ballard, and so two runs come in to score in the mojo. They now lead it 3-0 here in the top of the first. First pitch is outside to Trevor May for ball one. Where did all the other balls go? Two knows a count here to Trevor May as he fouls that one off. Count is now two and one. And you know, I think we've said it just about every single at bat, so I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Come on! 
I know I've we been might, saying a bunch too. We might we might just get it's, it's like what a no hitter. Saying. You just don't say two it. and two. Outside for ball just three, three balls and two strikes. He's getting on base though. He yeah, is he's, getting on base. He's been he's walking. That OEP is climbing. And that's ripped high and deep to center, but it Can't stays in the park. And Alex Ballard makes the grab for out number two. And, you know, credit to Trevor, though. He has been hitting the ball hard here tonight, and he has had some opportunities. He's just been getting robbed in a couple of places. and That's just really you know, unfortunate. It's, it's that's actually two to the same spot. Out yeah, there, so. it, it's been unfortunate. And sometimes that just happens, you know, in baseball, wiffle ball, whatever. You hit the ball hard. And it just happens to be right at guys sometimes. And it's 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 the game. It is what it is. Yeah, a couple of aces had a tough time with that this last series. Uh, yep. A couple, couple of our better players, Dylan, Carroll, and Moses Valdez, yep. both went over on the day. Yeah, uh, I was but surprised. But they were hitting the ball, you know. Yeah. So and, and that's just. baseball, that's wiffle ball. Yeah, that's just how the ball falls sometimes. You know, sometimes you're hitting the cover off the ball and you're just hitting it right to you guys. Can be unfortunate. Three and zero oh is the count to Demiro. Ripped on over to Alex Ballard at short. It'll be an RBI single for Demiro as Schmutz comes in to score. So it's now four nothing Mojo. As this and Mojo's coming continues. in hot right here. Yeah. You know, the Cyclones had that seven run big inning in last uh, last game. And won that game. So you know they they want to they got to take the series right here. Put some runs on the board. That pitch connects there for Zane Phillips. So a ball and a strike is the count to Schmutz. And, yeah, you know, I mean, you got to give credit to Zane, though. I mean, this this is his first game pitching here in the 2024 season. you gotta got to dust off some of the cobwebs. And I'm sure that's how it's going to be for a lot of guys here early in the year. As Schmutz goes around, ball and two strikes. Popped up into the air. Jeremy Langstead going back on it, and he makes the grab for out number three. But the Mojo, they score four runs here in the top of the first. They lead it four to nothing. Go to the bottom of the first. And here he is, Trevor May on the mound for the Mojo here in game number three. His first pitch to Langstead is outside for ball one. Hits him on the leg for ball two, and you know he's definitely he's definitely the tallest player I think we've ever had in the league. Langstead does not go around ball three, three and zero, oh. and hits him on the shoulder for ball four. Wow. <laughs> Jeremy said, that was at 85. Can we get him out of here? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. You know, Trevor Bay, he is, he, he is tall on that bound. He's I mean, tall that, that is menacing. That is menacing to go against here with a ball. Wow. Well, especially from 30 feet away. It's something else if it's 60 feet away. Yeah, I know. 30 feet away. Jeez. You know? 
Yikes. That is menacing. Alex Ballard steps in. Trying to stay hot from his last game. Three home runs in one inning. Seven RBIs. Four home runs in this series. Holds off there for ball two. So Trevor you have to May. Find the strike zone. Yeah, he's just trying to he's just trying to get used to this. I mean I can't blame the man. I know. It's 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 weird throwing a wiffle ball after throwing a baseball your whole entire life. <laughs> that one sailed and you said, you know, wh where does that one go? I think what's funny is he's he's hitting like high sixties, high seventies, and he's like, I've never thrown this slow before in my life. Like, this is crazy. I mean, the last time he's probably thrown this slow, he was probably like twelve years old. I mean, jeez. You think so? <laughs> he's getting for, get a little frustrated out there. He's walked the first two batters, but. Trying to lock in here against Zane Phillips, and that is ripped out to left center for a home run. Zane Phillips goes way out of here for a three-run shot. And the first hit Trevor Bay gives up in the AWA is a three-run blast to Zane Phillips out to the deepest part of the park. That was an absolute no-doubter. Walk, walk, home run, and the game is 4-3. What a well, change. you know, <laughs> that, that hits the top part of the zone. Unreal. Great pitch there for a strike. Facing Jackson Carr as he looks at a ball, one and one. But, yeah, I mean, what adjustment it probably is for Trevor. Man, I mean, the ball's so much lighter, just – I mean, this is a guy who throws 90-plus consistently all the time, and he has for many years in the MLB. Definitely. Definitely a weird, weird adjustment, that's for sure. 3-1 and one here to Carr. Outside for ball four. Is it 3-1? Full count here to Carr. Excuse me, we had the count wrong. Swing and a miss for strike three. Save that ball. That is Trevor May's first strikeout in the AWA. Unbelievable. We'll have him, we'll have him keep that. We'll have him sign that. We'll put that in the AWA archives. My goodness, that's a... That's Love an to important see that. Ball to have. Put that into the history books. Langstead looks at ball one. <laughs> That's way outside. Heads up to our cameraman over ball there. Ball two, yeah, jeez. <laughs> Hold on to your hats over there. My lord. Two and oh. Langstead nice goes around. Right there. Yeah. Two and one, getting him to chase. He's figuring it out a little bit. Yeah. Man, it's hard to figure out that movement with a wiffle ball. It takes is. the time. It is. I mean, you you and I have been in the league for what? Our fourth year, and we're still figuring it out. Yeah, I can't figure it out myself yet. Jeremy Langstead wants Trevor off the mound. Yeah. He's he's been hit three times now. <laughs> a couple times get, in the face he's been once in the, out there. in the leg. Fouls that one off. 3-2 count here. Full count to Langstead. And he looks at ball four. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy would like to keep that ball walking off an MLB pitcher. <laughs> Shoot, if I'm Zane uh, Phillips, I'd like to keep that ball that I hit over the fence. Yeah, I know. He's, he's going to have to go run over there and try to find that. That might be in the other neighbor's yard. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, here's Alex Ballard. Been the man of the day so far here in this series. Actually was the MVP of last game. And, I, you know, I think we can officially say that that last game, game number two, is going to go down in the history books as the Alex Ballard game. 2-0 two, two count here to Ballard. 
and he's been hot in both games this series. We'll see if he can continue it in game three. Counts now 3 0. Inside ball four, so Ballard works a walk. Runners now on first and second, and Zane Phillips stepping in, and it looks like Trevor Bay is taking himself out of the game, and Tom Blayhouse is going to come in to pitch now. But, hey, although that was a short stint there for Trevor, he did record his first strikeout ever in the AWA, so you can't take that away from him. Now that ERA might be close to what mine is, giving up three <laughs> runs and, and getting one out. Uh, and it's not going to be infinity um, because <laughs> he got the out. You know, so our, we'll see what that uh, ends up being. If, uh, if, if you pitch next week and I pitch, are we going to have that agreement where if you pitch that game, I have to pitch that game too? Is that what we're going to do? I think that'd be fair. I Let's shake on it fair. now. All right. Let's do it. All right. Let's we're do doing it. that. And I don't know which game that's going to be. Probably two or three. Game two or game, game three. Game two or game three. Probably game three. Probably game three, yeah. D DJ generally likes to run two games in a row, especially if he's if he's if he's dialed. Yeah, I let and him run with, with it. You know, same with Mo. Most of the time, last week we went uh, game one and game three with Moses. Yeah, yeah. So, and Moses, you know, he hits that zone more than any, or you know, just as much as anyone. And uh, he doesn't throw many moving pitches. A lot of fastballs from him. And so Tom Blayhouse. Up on the mound, Demiro is running into foul territory. He makes the grab. That's going to be an out. Unbelievable play from Dominic Demiro. He runs all the way over there in a foul territory and makes the grab. Heck of a play. And yeah. we thought that would have been way out of play, but Demiro did not give up on it, and he makes the grab for out number two. So two away now here in the inning, and and that's big. That is big for this Mojo team. Mojo leading by a run and <laughs> hits the zone. There to Carr, so it's on to ground ball up the middle. Schmutz throws on over to Demiro and Ballard hits Demiro as he was running hard. And the call on the field is gonna be out at second. So Demiro a takes a huge hit. But the call on the field is out. We'll look at the replay just to make sure. And yes, Damiro's foot hits the bag and catches the ball before Ballard. So although Damiro takes the hit, they get the final out. Before the run scores, so the run does not score. So the Mojo, they lead it four to three as we go to the the top of the second inning here in game number three. <laughs> Swings and misses at the high pitch there for strike one. Ground ball over to Jeremy Langston at first, and Trevor May doesn't want to pull any hammies. I can't blame him, so Langston will tag first for out number one. Dominic Demiro to the plate. We hope, we hope Dominic is doing well after taking that big hit over there at second on the collision. Looks at. Strike nice one. There from Zane. Never feels good. I feel like a lot of us, though, have, have gotten into collisions here. At the field, popped up into the air. Jeremy Langston under it, and he makes the grab for out number two. It's two away. It's getting pretty dark out here, so seeing those it fly is. balls is going to be more difficult than the first two games. It is. It is. Yeah. You guys are up 4 3. Oh, yeah. 4 3. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome, Rhoda. Quick two away here. Ground ball is fouled off on the first base side. Strike one. 0-1 here to Schmutz. 
Ground ball right back to St. Phillips on the mound. He flips the first and gets the third and final out on Houston Schmutz. So an effective inning for Zane Phillips and the Cyclones. No run score here in the top of the second. Go to the bottom of the second. Mojo lead it 4-2-3. Pitch here from Tom hits the zone. Tom Blayhouse, that is, hits the zone for strike. And that is just high for You know, ball Tom makes one. it look so easy out there. I, I wish I could hit the zone like that. Yeah, you know, he, he he's he's fared well in the times he's gotten up to the plate or up to the <laughs> you pitch. You got him on that throw over to first. Anyways, um, yeah, so Jeremy Langstead <laughs> reaches on that. I don't, I don't really know why. Nobody was at first on that play, but uh, all right, hey, works for the Cyclones. As I was saying, uh, yeah, Tom Blayhouse, he has he has pitched pretty well here so far in the league when the times that we have needed to have him pitch. As Alex Power looks at ball one. He holds for ball two there, so 2-0. Hits start the right zone. There. Yeah, strike one. Goes around. <laughs> two. Two and two. <laughs> Fouls that one off. It's Ballard's just trying to stay alive here. Tom Blayhouse is looking great on the mound. He's dialed out there. He's dialed. All of his pitches have looked great so far. Try to put him away with the drop ball there. Three and two. Just outside, and Alex Ballard does well to hold off of that, so he will walk. Runners on first and second for the Cyclones. Cyclones down a run, and they put the tying run into scoring position over there at second for Zane Phillips. Rips that foul down the third base side. Phillips has a three-run home run here in this game. All three RBIs for this Cyclone squad. That's fouled back into the booth. That's too far inside. Ball one, one and two. Now to Phillips, and he goes around for strike three. Unbelievable pitch there from Tom, Tom Blayhouse. And I got to use the nickname. I've been, I've been, <laughs> I've been hearing Trevor yell Tommy Tickets out there, and I got to agree, unbelievable. Tom Blayhouse, he's definitely punching tickets out here. He sure is. He's hitting that zone and consistently. Tommy Tickets, I love that nickname. That's great. That just misses. Ball one. One and zero here to Jackson Carr. That's high for ball two. Two and zero. <laughs> it's the zone. Tommy tickets. I tell you what. <laughs> that might be the greatest nickname. Tommy tickets might be the greatest nickname I've ever heard. That's great. Two and one is the count here to Jackson Carr. Ground ball right back to Tom Blayhouse. He can't field it cleanly. 
and everybody's safe. Tom Playhouse tried to just throw a random ball over there at first to try to disguise and trick the umpire, but that didn't fool us, I'll tell you that right now. Bases are loaded for the Cyclones. One out in the inning. Mojo has yet to get uh, Jeremy Langstead out this game. A couple walks and a single so far. Langstead's also been beaned multiple times by Trevor May here tonight. Yeah, he kept yelling to get him uh, get him out of here, and he finally got what he wanted. Now he's facing Tommy, uh, Tommy, Tommy tickets. tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's great. That is just 2-0. Oh. Inside and low for ball three. Three balls, no strikes to Langstead. And that is just high for ball three. three sorry, three and one. Three and one. My goodness. And Langstead walks for ball four. So that'll walk in the tying run. Scores now four to four. <laughs> And only one out with the bases loaded. Tommy Tickets, Tommy Tickets has his <laughs> He's got his work cut out for him right now. Alex Ballard will walk there, so another run comes in for the Cyclones. It's now five to four. Cyclones lead it. Ground ball over to Dominic DeMiro at 30. Tags out Jeremy Langstead for out number two, but another run will score for the Cyclones. It's now six to four. Cyclones lead it. Jackson Carr stepping up to the plate. Runners on first and second. There was one strikeout. No, that was last time. Uh, maybe just move over because Jeremy's screaming. Okay, two outs. Popped up into the air, it's deep, and it's going to one-hop the fence. Alex Ballard rounding third, he will score. So an RBI single for Jackson Carr, and the Cyclones continue to add on here in the bottom of the second. They now lead it 7-4. Jeremy Langstead will step up to the plate. Langstead still has not gotten out here in this game. As he looks at strike one there from Tom Blayhouse. And looks at ball one there. Yeah, Jeremy's seen a lot of gas being thrown at him from uh, Trevor May and Tommy Tickets early uh, in this game. That's high to Jeremy Langstead, three and one. <laughs> Swings and misses there. It's now a full count. Full count here to Langstead. Runners on first and third. Two away in the bottom of the second. Cyclones lead it seven to four. Rips that one. That was fouled off. See if, see if Tommy Tickets can get Jeremy Langstead to strike out here. And that hits Jeremy him in again. the shoulder for ball four. And Jeremy's taking a beating out yeah, there. Yeah, he really is. He's he's taking the the brunt of these these pitches from these pitchers. Both Still Tommy Tickets and, four, yep. and Trevor May. Four walks. He's getting hit by Tommy Tickets and Trevor May over and over. I find a way on, though. 
Ground ball over to Trevor May at first, and he flips over to first, but can't make the play on Ballard. So Zane Phillips scores, and it's going to be a dead ball. So Zane Phillips comes around to score. It's now eight to four Cyclones here in the bottom of the second. Yeah, how many? I think that's. No, yeah, yeah. They had. You guys had three. You guys had three coming into the. Yeah, so yeah, you're right. Five. So bases are loaded. Popped up into the air by Phillips. Foul. So bases are loaded here in the inning. The Cyclones have scored five runs in this inning, and so they have one more to score. Or if Zane Phillips were to hit a home run here, they would get all four. And that is just foul. Just missed that one. Almost hit the foul pole. Over there down the third Can't base side. Can't be one and two. One and two to Zane Phillips. One and two the count. Pitch here from Tom. Playhouse hits the zone. Unbelievable pitch. And Tommy Tickets gets Zane Phillips to strike out for out number three. The Cyclones score many runs here in the bottom of the second. They lead eight to four as we go to the top of the third here in game three. Two and zero here to Trevor May. Ground ball over to Jackson Carr. Could this be his first hit? And it, it is. It's his first hit. Trevor May, first hit in the AWA. Congratulations to him. He gets it. Saved that ball as well. In this game alone, Trevor May has recorded his first strikeout in the league, and he now has his first hit. Congratulations to him. Dominic Demiro up to the plate. He looks at ball one. Popped up into the air. Jeremy Langston coming on. He makes the grab for out number one. One away. We're in the top of the third. Top of three. You guys have two more outs left. It's uh, eight to four. Top of the third. Houston Schmutz up to the plate as he looks at ball one. And looks at ball two, 2-0 two oh here to Schmutz. Mojo down four runs here in the top of the third. And the Mojo, they started off so strong here in this series, but the Cyclones have come on strong. Alex Ballard really being that spark for this team here in this series. And the Cyclones have put themselves in a great position Find another win, base runner here to win this game in the series. Drive, Guys on first and second here, and Trevor May swinging a hot bat now. So. That's true. That's true. That's true. Trevor May got that first hit out of the way in his last at bat. It always feels good. That's got to feel good. Next up, first career home run? Question mark. And that is high. Ball one, yeah, first first career home run. That'd be some sight to see. Ground ball down the third base side, and everybody's safe. So after he gets his first career hit, he gets another hit, and so hits one and two out of the way there for Trevor. That stays hot. Bases are loaded here for the Mojo. 
Yep. One away for Dominic DeMiro, and it gets interesting because Dominic DeMiro represents the tying run for the mojo now in the final inning of this third game. Outside for ball two, two and oh. Swing and a miss there from DeMiro. Two and one is the count. That is just low for ball three. Three balls, one strike. Hits the zone, and the count is now full here to DeMiro. Cyclone's trying to close this game out. Zane Phillips has pitched well here so far tonight. This is the moment you live for as a hitter. The 3-2 count, last inning, down 8-4, bases loaded. Yeah. Popped up into the air. That's going to stay in the yard. Jeremy Langstead is underneath it and makes the grab for out number two. So great job there from Zane Phillips, able to pop out Dominic DeMiro. And Houston Schmutz will step up to the plate. Two outs in the inning. Mojo down four. Bases are loaded. The pitch to Schmutz is in there for strike one. Zane's found a groove here now. He's hitting that zone consistently. And that one is spiked into the dirt. One and one. That's ripped out to right, but it's foul. Hits the top part of the roof. So it's now one and two here to Schmutz. Mojo down to their final strike. Could tie this game up in just the swing of a bat. Outside. Two and two. And that's outside. Full count now to Schmutz. from Phillips is low and that will walk in a run so it's now eight to five Cyclones and that now brings up the go-ahead run which would be Trevor May and he is swinging a hot bat right now has singled in his last two at bats in the inning ground ball over to Jackson Carr third he bobbles it and everybody's gonna be safe so DeMiro comes around to score it's now eight to six Bases are still loaded and DeMiro stepping in. Definitely not the situation you want to be in if you're the Cyclones right now. DeMiro one for five in this game, but at this point, he's due for a hit. I mean, three flyouts in his last three at bats, and, you know, he, he's just missing it. Ball gets a one little bit more on top of the ball. DeMiro. That's going into the other yard. Absolutely. Ground ball over to Alex Ballard at short. He bobbles it, and another run comes in to score. So some errors out there in the field for the Cyclones. Keeps this inning going for the mojo. And the Cyclones are now just up one run with the bases loaded. Houston Schmutz stepping up to the plate. So the tying run is on third. The go-ahead run is on second. Pitch from Phillips gets Schmutz to go around for strike one. 0-1 one here to Schmutz. And that's high for a ball. 1-1, one one. so what a change of events. The Cyclones came into this inning up four. And now because of many errors in the field, they're now just up one. Two outs. Two and two is the count. Ground ball over to Jackson Carr. It gets by him. Dominic DeMiro comes around to score. Oh, it's tie ball game. And yeah. Trevor May comes around to score. And the mojo. They take a one-run lead here. That's the game. 
It's now nine to eight, Mojo. And so what a job from the Mojo. They were down four runs coming into this inning and they now lead it nine to eight. So runners on second and third, this inning continues as that is a ground ball, fair ball, and Zane Phillips can't pick it up, so that's gonna be an RBI single for Trevor May. And Schmutz comes in to score, it's now 10 to eight, Mojo, as the Mojo just continue to add on here in the top of the third. And a reminder to everybody that because we are in the top of the third, Mojo can score as many runs as they need to right now at this time. So that hits the zone. And that's high there to DeMiro. So an unfortunate series of events for this Cyclones team. They were up four coming into the inning. And because there's many, because of the many errors the Cyclones made in the field, it's now 10 to eight, Mojo. That's popped up into the air. Jeremy Langston is underneath it and he makes the grab for out number three. But the Mojo, they take the lead here in the top of the third. They lead it 10 to eight. Go to the bottom of the third here in game three. So the Mojo have come all the way back down eight to four, and it's now up to Tommy Tickets here to close it out for the Mojo. Popped up into the air, Tommy Tickets makes the grab for out number one. One away. It took a minute for him to get third. off the mound there, but man, he got there. Yeah, you know, looked like he was limping a little bit there, I don't know. Well, you know, and he had that injury, you know, early yeah. last year, and got a got to be careful with those legs. That's true. That's true. Or as my dad says, a little little hitch in your giddy up, you know. There it is. So, Jeremy Langstead still yet to get out. He's been pegged 20 times in this game by Tommy Tickets and Trevor. Four walks and a single, one for one on the day. Hits the zone for a strike, a ball and a strike here to Jeremy Langstead. <laughs> Popped up into the air, DeMiro is underneath it and he makes the grab for out number two. So the Cyclones now down to their final out here in game three and what we thought was gonna be a Cyclones series win is now looking like a Mojo series rent win. It's all coming down to Alex Ballard, man of the day. Trying to get the best of Tommy Tickets as he looks strike one. Big swing and a miss there and the Cyclones are now down. Oh, it was 62, it was too fast, so it's gonna be a speed check. So 0 and 1 is the count. Fouled off. 62 again. Oh, 62, Tommy so no Tickets pitch. Tommy is throwing some gas right now. <laughs> throwing it too hard. Count is still 0-1. I don't know. That that drop was disgusting. That was wild. I know that was a ball, but my goodness. That was a good pitch. Got some movement on that. 1-1. One no, no, they were both 63. Yeah, it's 1-1. One one. Yeah, that was also 62. Yeah, 1-1. 
One and one is the count to Alex Ballard. Outside for ball two, two and one. Ground ball over to Dominic DeMiro. He's going to have to try to make a good play on that. And Ballard, he's too quick. So he will reach. And that's going to bring up the tying run to the plate for the Cyclones. Zane Phillips to the plate. Here facing Tommy Tickets. He's got a home run in this game, too. He's one for five with a home run early in the first inning. Let's see if he can tie it up. That would be unbelievable if Zane Phillips could tie this ball game up. Especially off Tommy Tickets. You know about Tommy, out. he's just he's just punching those tickets, man. All day, every day. Crumble over to DeMiro. He throws the second and the call on the field is safe, so this inning will continue. Zane Phillips reaches on an infield single and Jackson Carr stepping up to the plate. So the tying run is on at first for the Cyclones. Hits the zone, great pitch there from Tommy Tickets on one. And that's fouled off for strike two. Cyclones down to their final strike. Hits that the zone good. strike. Oh, and it was too fast. On the Speed cut. check. <laughs> Mr. 62 himself, Tommy Tickets. The 0-2 here to Jackson Carr. Pitch on the way is outside. Ball one, one and two. And that's outside as well. Two balls and two strikes to Carr. Just high, ball three, full count. Inside for ball four, and the bases are now loaded for the Cyclones. Jeremy Langstead stepping up to the plate. Tying run is on second. Jeremy's and one for two, four walks, a single. Been on, on base uh, five out of six times this game. This is definitely the guy you want to have up to the plate right now. Langstead been getting on base consistently here tonight. Tying run on at second, winning run on at first. Popped up into the air, and this should do it. Dominic DeMiro makes the grab, and Tommy Tickets comes in and gets the win for the Mojo. The Mojo, they win game number three, final score 10-8, to eight, and they take the series here against the Central Cyclones two games to one. Thank you to everybody who joined us here tonight for Metropolitan Mojo Central Cyclones. We appreciate everybody being with us. Thank you so much, and we will be seeing you next Tuesday. We hope everybody has a great night.